Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Alan Baggett with the Days Victory Church in my ball cap. I have been uh, running around this morning already, so I oh, basically am not cleaned up or anything, so you're just going to have to kind of deal with me in my natural habitat <laughs> this way. but So hopefully it doesn't scare anybody too badly. But this morning I want to give you a word to speak into your life. Uh, yesterday uh, was a great word uh, that uh, I may hit on just a little bit more today. But this morning I want to hit into a word uh, to speak some uh, encouragement into your life. In Psalms chapter 24, verse 8. Psalms 24, verse 8, it says, Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Amen. So who is the King of glory? Who's the King of glory? It's the Lord. And the Lord is strong, and the Lord is mighty, and the Lord is mighty in battles. Amen. In the battles of our lives. You know, there comes a time. Well, it's not even comes a time. It should be all the time. Uh, we should open the doors of our lives and let this King of glory, this strong Lord, this mighty Lord, this Lord that's mighty in battle, to let them, let him come in and be strong in our life. Good morning, Miss Alicia. Good to see you this morning glad you're with us so listen we we need to let this king of glory into our lives uh, and, and not just into our lives begin to work in our lives remember what i was saying yesterday the lord our god is mighty our lord our god is strong but our god is a, a miraculous god he's a god of miracles he's a god of the supernatural he feels he, he fills the ditches that we dig in our lives. When he says, go dig a ditch, he doesn't tell us how he's going to fill the ditch. He says, he says, just go fill the ditch. And we go fill the ditch. And he, he fills it with water. He's a supernatural God. He's a miraculous God. Who is this King of glory? He's the mighty Lord. He's, he's strong and he's mighty and he's mighty in battle. And we need to open up our hearts in our lives and allow him to be that mighty God, to be that 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 uh, that strong and that strength that we need in our lives. He can turn every situation in our life around, and there doesn't even have to be a rational explanation. How do you explain that that when you're being faithful in your giving? And you're not making enough to make ends meet, but you still make it. How do you explain how how so many things come against your mind and come against your spirit, and you still make it when others are going into uh, in, into facilities for to uh, be be worked on, and people are having to go to the psychiatrist, and they're they're just uh, they're in depression, they're just doing all, they're taking pills, whatever they can do just to stay alive and be walking around, yet we can face the same situations, the same circumstances, and we don't do those things. How is that possible? It's because we allow the King of Glory. It's because when we turn our situation and our lives over to God, He takes care of it. I'm going to tell you something. There's been, uh, in the last week or so, there's just been this darkness that, that has creeped over uh, so many areas and so many things and so many people's lives. This is like almost like an orchestrated attack, an orchestrated demonic spiritual attack against people's lives. And people are starting to come out from the other side of it. But man, it was a, it, it was a tough battle. It hit me. It hit my wife. It hit uh, my children. Um, I hit, hit people in our church. It hit other ministers that I've, I've talked to this week. And people that have gone through the same thing. It's almost like a coordinated spiritual attack. And so, and what we try to do in those situations, we try to get in there and fix it. We try to get in there and control it. We try to get in there and do all those things. And, and God is saying, listen, listen, I am the God of miracles. I am supernatural. 
I will take care of this thing. There, there's no ra rational explanation for why it's happening, and there's going to be no rational explanation of why it is resolved because I am in charge. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord is strong and the Lord is mighty. Psalms 24, 8. He's the Lord of God and mighty in battle. So we need to just open up our hearts and open up our lives, open up our situation, open up our, our thought patterns and let the King of Glory come in. When we try to solve everything within our own power and within our own ability, this is where we get in trouble. So don't try to do it in and of yourself. I don't have the I don't have the capability, neither do you. We seem very good at hiding things and hiding our situations and hiding what's really going on in our lives. We're really good at that. But we don't have the power or the ability to control them. We don't have the power or the ability to actually handle all these things. So give those things over to the Lord. Let him come in because without rational explanation, without any understanding, he began to do great things when we began to walk in an expectation and give our situations and our thought processes over to God instead of letting our mind run wild. How many, how many has ever let your mind run wild? I have. Have you ever noticed a thought gets into your head and all of a sudden it just starts going crazy? It starts going crazy. Man, you got so many things you got going on in your head, invented invented in your head, and, and all of a sudden you're in a bad mood, and all of a sudden uh, your peace is gone, your joy is gone, your contentment's gone, because you let all these things run, in, run through your head. And most of the times it's things that we can re actually don't even have any power or ability to affect in any kind of a way and actually need to be in the hands of God anyway. Listen. Don't try to solve everything with your own power and ability because you just can't. Open up the doors of your lives and let the King of Glory come in and let Him begin to fill the valleys of your life with water and rain, the ditches in your life with water and rain. Begin to expect Him to do great things in your life. Let God into your life. Let God into your situations. He is strong. He is mighty. And there is no battle out there that will ever be able to defeat him. So you just got to release yourself. You just got to lay these things down at the foot of the cross. I know that's, uh, we say it all the time, but we very rarely do it. Uh, we need to lay these things down at the foot of the cross and, and, and give God a reckless faith. God, you told me to dig this ditch, so I'm going to dig this ditch. I don't know what your ditch is that God's told you to, to, to dig. For ours is to build this church and to, to go forward with what God's called us to do in this congregation. And so we're digging that ditch. Now I need God to come in and fill the ditches with water. If I try to do it myself, I'm going to fail every time. I don't know what your ditch is. It might be a calling in your life. It might be a family member. It might be a relationship. It'll be some things that God said. You just keep on working toward that. You just keep on digging that ditch and preparing the way that I'm telling you to do. And I will take care of the rest of it. So I just, listen, who's the king of glory? The Lord. The Lord is. And he's strong. And he's mighty. And he is mighty in the battles of our lives. All I need to do is open up the door of my life and let the King of Glory come in. Open up the door of my situation and let the King of Glory come in. Quit trying to do it in and of myself and my own power and my own ability and let God into my life and my situation and that's that particular thing that I'm dealing with because He is strong, He is mighty, and no battle will ever defeat my God. Let me ask you a question. I'll close with this. What's bigger than God? The answer, absolutely nothing. The answer, absolutely nothing is bigger than God. There's not a devil. There's not a situation. There's not a demon in hell. There's not a torment. There's not a financial situation. There's not a relationship. There's nothing bigger than God. So if it's not bigger than God, then God is more, is more powerful than 
any of those situations or any of those things that I just mentioned. And if he is, then we need to allow him. Who's wiser than God? Are we? Is the government? Is there a king? Is there a magistrate? No. And if that's true, then we need to allow his wisdom and his power, his authority into our situation, into our life, into our relationship, into, into our finances, into the, all the things that we have going on. Allow him. And I'm just telling you, when you begin to walk in that kind of faith, not just talking about it, and I'm telling you, this is a lot easier said than done, but not just talking about it, but doing it. Watch what happens. Watch ha what happens. It'd be like this guy I just prayed for the other day. He said, Pastor Allen, you prayed for me, and you ticked the devil off. He said, it didn't get better, it got worse. <laughs> and I said, let's pray again. And uh, I said, the reason it ticked the devil off is because he started losing the battle. If the devil ever stops messing with you, you're in trouble in the first place, because if he stopped messing with you, that means he's not worried about you. And uh, he's just letting you do your own thing because you're already heading down a bad path. So when the devil is attacking you, it's actually probably a good sign because that means that he's he's concerned that you're going the you're going the right way and he needs to turn you around. He said, "Yeah, you ticked that devil off when you prayed." I said, "Let's pray again. I just don't want to tick the devil off. I want to kick him out." Listen, turn everything over. Sometimes when we pray and we turn everything over, it ticks the devil off, and sometimes things get a little crazy. Uh, because the devil's mad, but every time we had to go back to who is greater is the devil or the enemy or any demon or, or foul spirit from hell better or stronger than God? No. No. Put your trust and faith in God. Open up your doors and let the King of Glory come in. Don't try to solve everything by yourself and your own power and your ability. Let God into your life and your situation. He is mighty in battle. He is mighty about it. He will fill the ditches that he's given you in your life to, to perform. He will, he will fill them with water. And it will be filled without rational explanation because it will be known that God did it. So begin to walk in that expectation of what God's going to do. And quit worrying about what's going to happen. Amen. That's my word for today. God bless you guys. Hey, before you go, I'm going to pray with you really quick. And... Uh, before that, listen, go on to, go on to uh, their YouTube channel and uh, uh, watch it on the YouTube channel. You can get the link on the YouTube channel and you can share it in, in, in any of your texts or any text app that you have. Some people are doing that, but I really encourage you to go out and do that. Uh, because when you guys began to do that, our, our, the people who watch really increased quite a bit. So you need to uh, do that. Be a part of this message. Not just hit a share button. I want you to hit the share button. But not just hit the share button. But take the time to go to the, the channel, copy the link, and actually text it to, to somebody. Say, hey, you need to see this. You need to hear this. And, uh, and, and send them over to that link. And let them hear this word. And let this word be spoken into their life. Amen? Hallelujah. Well, let's pray right now. Father, I just thank you for your goodness and your grace. And we invite you, Father, into our lives, into our situation. Because we understand we can't handle all these things on our own. But you are strong and you are mighty. And your presence can overcome in our lives. And we can live in peace. And we can live in joy. And we can live in victory no matter what we're circumstance we find our self in we know that you can fill the the ditches of our life with water father and so we just lay it all out before you right now and we thank you father even right now for those who are watching and those will be watching on replay and those will be watching later on father that we just thank you for the breakthrough that's going to take place in their heart the breakthrough is going to take place in their life the breakthrough is going to take place in their finances the breakthrough is going to take place in their in their relationships, Father, we just lift it all to you and are thanking you right now for what you're already accomplishing and doing. 
even though some of it we can't even see yet. We're thankful. So, Father, we just lift it up to you. May each and every one go today and be blessed in all that they do. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. I'll be back in the morning around this time, nine-ish, and bringing you another word uh, from uh, another word of encouragement and, and instruction. God bless you guys. Click it. Share it. Go to YouTube. Copy it. Message it. Send it out to everybody you know. God bless you guys.